Hey beautifuls, I'm just Jackie is here and I'm here with another video obviously and uh, first of all I want to say hi and welcome to my new beautifuls out there. Thank you for rocking while I'm just Jackie. Okay, so beautifuls, I'm coming to y'all today with something different. You know, something I had mentioned in my um my chit chat video um a few weeks ago. I said I wanted to do something called Tell Me How You Really Feel. So basically, you know, anybody out there, they can email me. My email's in the description box below. Email me any question or whatever concern or, or what have you. About anything, whatever stuff that's going on in, in the world. Um, you can ask me a personal question or whatever, you know, whatever. You can ask ask me anything about anything and I'm gonna do a uh, tell me how you really feel and I'm gonna sit here and record and I'm gonna select your question and I'm gonna you know tell you how I feel all right so my first question is from Lori Lori Akbar on here on YouTube it's Lori's life hey girl hey thank you for the question and her question is I want to know how you feel about big companies and their relationship with small YouTubers. Again, how do I feel about big companies and their relationship with small YouTubers? Okay. Now, first of all, <laughs> baby, let me tell you how I really feel. What relationship? What relationship do, do big companies have with small YouTubers? As far as I'm concerned, I, I don't know about any. Now, beautifuls, if y'all know, let, let me know. But I think we need to backtrack and go back. What is considered a small YouTuber? You know what I'm saying? It's obvious those with lower numbers. But what's the tier? There's no tier. Like, when when are you not a small YouTuber? When are you not a small YouTuber? You know, because you know we got YouTubers out there that have over a million um, subscribers. We have YouTubers out there that have 500K or more. We have YouTubers out there that got 200K or more. We have YouTubers with over 100,000. We have YouTubers with uh, 50,000 or more. We have YouTubers with 20,000 or more. 15, so on and so forth. You, you notice how I'm breaking it going down, down, down. But at what point are you not considered a small YouTuber? That That's one of my main questions and concerns. When, when do you stop being a small YouTuber? Now, I know I am a small YouTuber. I only have 500 plus uh, subscribers. You know what I'm saying? So I know that puts me in the tier classified as a small YouTuber. But to me, if I have somebody, if, if I'm watching a YouTuber and that YouTuber has like 5,000 subscribers, that to me, that is a phenomenal feat because that's not easily done it's not done overnight it's a process so yeah my first concern is when when are you not classified as a small youtuber now let's just stick with us youtubers that have zero to let's go zero to five thousand let's just keep it simple let's just stick with that tier of small youtuber Okay, because I don't know when you're not considered a small YouTuber, but I'm going to just go with 5,000 or and less. Okay, now I uh, again, what relationship with small YouTubers? Because now I know there are some YouTubers that got 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 plus you know subscribers out there and. I watch the, I watch their videos and they are getting sponsorship. They're getting sponsorship. They're getting things sent to them for for their opinion, for their review, so they can bring it forward to their um you know, their viewers that watch their channel, you know? But 
before a small YouTuber like myself who only ha who does hasn't even reached 1,000 yet, there's really nobody, um, you know, calling me, emailing me, you know, hitting me up and saying, hey, Miss Jackie, we love your channel. We like your content. We would love it if you, uh, would you mind if we sent you, let's go with PR. Let's just go with a PR package. Let's start with PR. No, no. So my thing is, I don't think it's fair. That's how I feel about it. I think it's very unfair. I, I feel like the hello big companies. If you watch this video, I feel like you guys need to have some consideration towards us smaller YouTubers. So, you know, we're, we're here. We, we have a brand, we have a market. Actually, more people will have more faith than us small YouTubers who have a smaller channel. And when we give our opinions and thoughts, we're more believable because you have for the YouTubers who have higher numbers, a million plus or whatever, whatever, and they're getting all these items sent to them and you know, they just come up and do a video and do say whatever, whatever. And most of the time what I'm hearing is everything's two thumbs up. Two thumb thumbs. I love it. It's good. It's good. You're telling me everything that you're receiving from these companies, you love it. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no you know, whatever. I just feel like some of these bigger YouTubers are, yeah, they're just out there just throwing product in the air. And you know, if you say it's good, your subscribers are going to run and go get it, you know, and that's, and that's what these big companies are, are hoping for that. I, I'm going to get a Jackiana and we're going to send her this PR pack and she's going to shout it out and say how much she likes it. And then let, let's say we, we're going to shoot for, we want at least 30% of her viewers to go get this stuff. So if you get 30% of her viewers, 30% of, of, of a million plus is a, is a lot of people. Okay. So I get it. It's a, it's about business, you know, big business and et cetera, et cetera. But I feel like these, these big businesses need to take a chance on us small YouTubers because we can bring in, we can bring in some sales too, because do y'all understand us small YouTubers when we come up here and we do our product reviews, uh, whatever content it may be, we're paying for this stuff out of our pocket, our pocket. So trust and believe, you know, you getting a very thorough, honest review, especially if we're paying our coin. Now, if somebody sends me a PR packet for whatever product or whatever, whatever, I'm going to give you my honest opinion if I like it or if I don't like it. Okay. I, no shade to nobody out there. I just feel like if you have companies sending you stuff and you don't do a review on it because you don't like the product. I I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't, I don't care for that. I feel like you should do the review on it regardless if you don't like it or not. It's good for other people to know about this product that you're not too keen on. You know, I'm tired of seeing videos where everything is, like I said, two thumbs up, gunning, gunning, gunning. Give me a video where you received something and you was not thrilled about it. That's the problem. This, this is what a disconnect is. That's why so many of us are like tired of watching some of our big YouTubers because we're like, shit, everything is good. Everything is living your life like it's golden. Okay. Good luck with that. Let me go click on my and go watch a smaller YouTuber channel, you know? And yeah, we have, I don't want to get all over the place. The main question was about big business and small YouTubers. Now, here's the thing. I've even reached out to certain platforms and companies and stuff, especially like the ones that claim that, mm, I don't want to say affiliates. They are influence, influencer type, not influencer, influencer type uh, companies. And when I try to sign up for it, oh no, you have to have at least, uh, 5,000, um, 5,000, um, now this is for Instagram. Somebody, actually somebody told me I had to have at least 5,000 people following me on Instagram. Another one I saw, somebody said you had to have 10,000. And I'm like, really? 
you don't I just feel like you're not respecting me as a content creator regardless of how many I have or how many I don't have I'm still a content creator and I'm I'm regular degla schmegla. I ain't up here doing all these fabulous graphics or whatever. I want to sit here in front of this camera, old school style, and I'm going to talk to my beautifuls out there. That's how I roll, okay? And if y'all don't like it, it's okay. Because I'm not for everybody. I, I have my own niche. You know, I have people who enjoy watching my content and... and you know, hearing what I have to say. Somebody might not like my voice, and that's why they don't watch my channel. It's okay. Okay? So, but to kind of like piggyback off of Lori's question about, you know, big businesses and small YouTubers, how about we talk about YouTubers to YouTubers, baby? YouTubers to YouTubers. Because here's my thing. Especially if you're a YouTuber and you have a business. Um... Like, shish. This, okay, if you're a YouTuber and you have a business and you have a standard or a criteria where if you want to collaborate with somebody or send somebody some of your product for free so they can, you know, do a video on it, blah, blah, blah. But you don't want to do it unless they're on the same status quo as you are. I feel like that's bull. I'm calling bull out. I'm calling bullshit. That, that's what I'm going to call it. And here's the thing. Anybody who watches this video has a business and that's your standard. It's no shade. I'm not throwing shade at you. It's not shade when I'm sta stating facts. My thing is, I'm just, I'm just calling it like it is. I call it bullshit. Because at some point in time, you as a YouTuber, you were a YouTuber before you was a business assuming who knows whatever because everybody's different but my thing is at one point in time you didn't have nobody you ain't have no subscribers you have no subscribers it took you time to build your family your you your youtube following now you have a great following this is for all you youtubers out there that have a great following right you have a great following and you just so happen to have a business <laughs> But you say that you're not going to collab with nobody if they're not on the same par as you. Okay. I, I think it's, I think that's ignorant. That's ignorant. That's how I feel. I think it's ignorant because at the end of the day, me being a small YouTuber like myself, uh, I'm all here for businesses. Whether it be a brother, a sister, whatever. You know, I'm here to support everybody. And I am a huge fan of black-owned businesses. Huge supporter of black-owned businesses. You know, I don't mind spending my coin coming up here telling y'all about other black-owned black, black -owned businesses or anything. But it kind of bothers me when I hear other people who are very popular youtubers and they have a product they, they might not even have a full-fledged business they might just have a product that they have one product or whatever whatever but you're you're saying that you're not even willing to send your product out there to a smaller youtuber who has i'm just going to use me who has 500 subscribers you're not willing to send a five dollar ten dollar product for free to a smaller youtuber and where you may be able to reach you know, maybe a hundred people from that YouTuber, that's another hundred people in sales, regardless, regardless, because you don't want to collab with nobody that's not on your statute. But at the end of the day, you forget you one day, one, one day you didn't have nobody. One day you had one, then you want 30, 40, 100, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And so on and so forth. How soon, how did, how soon do we forget y'all? You big YouTubers out there, how soon do we forget? You, you didn't always have a million. You didn't always have 200, 300, 400, 500,000. You didn't always have 30, 40, 50,000, 10,000, 5,000. You didn't always have that. You know what I'm saying? But for some of you, and it's not all of y'all, but there are some of you guys out there that, that think this way, you know? So, 
that makes no sense to me we got to do better we got to be better we're supposed to be supporting one another and uplifting one another and it's it's crazy now we have is there separation there's a, there's separation to everything okay but i'm just let's just talk about this separation in the youtube world you got small youtubers and whatever and, and huge youtubers and it's sad that we got our own hashtag small youtuber you know but it is what it is because we're, we're trying to find each other we're trying to find each other and build a network with one another okay so hey yeah i kind of got sidebar to the sidebar Lori. i hope i answered your question i think i did i'm not i i'm just i feel like the big businesses need to reach out to us smaller youtubers because we're the ones that um can get the people to spend the money you know as well as these big youtubers you, you know what i'm saying we're <laughs> we're here we're here you know but they're not listening they're not listening they don't hear us and they need to start listening because we we have content we have we have following too all i'm saying is give us small youtubers a chance people you know what i'm saying give us a chance big youtubers all I'm saying is you should, you guys should be welcoming us with open arms, trying to give us tips and tricks and whatever you can give us. So maybe our road won't be as bumpy as your road may have been. You know, that's all I'm saying. But it's too much of a competition out here to everybody out here. I'm just speaking YouTube world. Too much of a competition out here for YouTube. And it's like, it shouldn't, we shouldn't look at each other as competition because I'm not Lori, I'm not Sonetta, I'm not Keisha, I'm not Aria, I'm not Tony, I'm not Gay Babe, I'm not, um, Nikki and, and Jamie, I'm not nobody else out here in YouTube world, I'm just Jackie. That's it. I'm just Jackie, I ain't trying to be nobody else. If you guys like the content I bring, Feel free to come back, baby, and hang out with I'm Just Jackie. I'm your girl. I'm your girl. But if you don't like what I bring, feel free to travel and move along to another channel. And you know what? It's okay because I'm not for everybody, okay? And I'm just going to leave it at that because I can say more. I can say more. Y'all know Jackie can go. But I ain't trying to offend nobody no more than I already have. And if somebody took something I said to heart, then maybe you should really think about it. Think about why you took it to heart. Did did it touch your soul? Did it touch your spirit? Because at some, some part of you knows that that's you. It resonates in you. I'm just saying. Think about it. So beautifuls, anybody out there who has a question for I'm Just Jackie, hit me up at I'm Just Jackie at gmail.com and I'm going to choose your question and I'm going to tell you how I really feel. Okay? All right. Until the next video, beautifuls. This is...